Hi, this is Jared Trust with another Comedians for Relationships video. Now, this video is how to have a successful date with a woman. Um, you know, I'm not familiar, and I'm thankful for this, with, with the Tinder dating world these days. I know that guys and women, they go on Tinder and they say yes or no. And uh, I've heard people have had a lot of success meeting people, but me, I'm... I'm more of a, and I think this is the best way to go, I'm more of a, you know, if, if I'm meant to date or be with someone or meet someone or go on a date with someone, it, it'll kind of come my way, it'll happen kind of by, by pursuing my passions and doing what I love and living my life, that I'll be led to, to the people that are supposed to be in it. And um, this video is, you know, I hear a lot about this Tinder and, you know, I ask these guys, oh, well, what do you do when you meet up? And they say, oh, I have her come to my house and uh, you know I we eat uh, Chinese food and and then you know she didn't even want to like kiss me or touch me or anything it really pissed me off so I told her she had to leave and I just thought god that's that's no way to treat a lady and and that you you're just not gonna have any success whatsoever um, getting a second date so that's why I'm doing this video this is part of my new comedy series comedians for relationships when you take a girl out, first of all, the general rule, especially for the first, second, and third date, is that you need to pay for everything. And that's just a gentleman's thing. That shows a woman that, that one, you're responsible, two, that you have manners, that you're a gentleman, that, you, uh, that you're that you successful, that you make money, that, that you don't mind spending some money on her, you, that you like the idea of being a man and taking that role and, and taking care of her and treating her. And, and women, they want to be treated like a princess. That's your best bet, is pretend literally like you are on a date with an actual princess. Um, at least that's what I do. And what I mean by that is, you know, when, you know, here I am at Marmalade Cafe. This video is brought to you by Marmalade, which is a great place for breakfast. And um, it's a great spot. But um, taking a girl to a nice restaurant, okay? especially for the first date. Take her somewhere nice. Um, I like this, it's got the granite tables, nice chairs, nice atmosphere outside. Uh, beautiful, classy joint. Um, that's where I like to take someone on a first date. Second of all, as part of treating a woman like a princess, pull out her chair for her, okay? Uh, if, if you walk her to her car, always walk her to her car. That, that shows that, you know, you protect her. Open her door for her, close her door for her. Pull out her chair, push her chair in. Um, you know, when you're eating with her, but you know, first thing, put your napkin on your, um, on your lap. Uh, use manners, sit up straight. Uh, use your fork uh, and everything the right way. Um, you know, be relaxed. Uh, like we talked about confidence be confident and just treat her like a princess uh, listen to what she wants to say if you're shy if you sit down and you say great here's you know the part I screw up as because I don't know what to talk about you know you don't want that awkward silence you want to talk about good stuff so you know and if you don't know what to talk about talk about her you know don't sit here and don't, uh, Oh, I do this and I do that. Oh, yeah, I'm so cool. Oh, yeah, my wallet. Oh, let me pull out my wallet. Oh, yeah, I got so much money. Oh, yeah, hmm, look at my watch. Oh, yeah, yeah, you'd be lucky to hang out with me because I'm so cool. Yeah, you know, some girls actually do like that. And I, I'd say the, confident is, the confidence is great. That's great that you're successful and have some money and have a nice watch. But, you know... A, a wise man, you know, doesn't need to say anything. You don't need to say or tell her, or repeat yourself for her to, to see that you're doing well for yourself. Okay, so, you know, focus on her. And that's what we talked about it, is listening and, and asking questions and, fo and, and focusing on her and, and what she's about and what she cares about. And then you can get an idea of, the, of if, if this is someone that you like, that you think... Um, you know, you could you could fall in love with or you could have a successful relationship with or you're attracted to. You know, there's a lot more than just what you see outside. You know, you got to look inside. You got to get a feel for what's inside. And, uh, you know, women are very complicated. So, but, you know, if you can just be a good listener, that, that'll work really well for you. 
dressing nice, looking nice, treating her like a princess. Um, you know, so, so do that and you'll be good. Walk her to a car. Don't expect things. Don't expect things. When dinner's done, um, you know, offer dessert. That's what I like to do. Offer whatever. Make sure she gets what she wants. You know, with me, I'll order a, a glass of wine. I'll pay for it. When the bill comes to the table, I grab the bill. I, I don't, you know, play any games or I know I take that bill. I'm going to pay for that. And I let her know that. But, you know, after the dinner, don't say, oh, well, I bought you dinner. So now you got to kiss me and, and hug me and let me like grab, grab your booty or something. No, you can't do that. That just, that shows that you give things, but then you expect things, which is not what you want. The first day, don't expect to get anything except you give her a hug okay and and you know what just giving her a hug the farthest I go on first date is maybe a kiss on the cheek and that's it and you know what that says about you it says you're classy it says you don't throw yourself out there to every person you meet especially on the first date it shows that you know that you have that you have class uh, it, it shows that you respect your body you respect yourself and you know what? That's a, a, a great trait. And women notice that. So that's important. And then, so that's how the first date goes, really. Um, those are your basic tips. Um, you know, after the date, um, there there's a rule that after the first date, you know, you should uh, later that night maybe send one simple quick text you know, had a great time at dinner, it was great meeting you, would love to see you again. Keep it simple, don't start blowing up her phone because you had a good date and you're interested. Even if it's hard for you, just one text, okay? Uh, and then and wait some time. Don't text her the next morning too, wait a little bit. You know what I do? Uh, I follow up a first date with getting her some flowers, you know? And we're gonna talk about the second date, but uh, flowers is a great thing to do afterwards or you know before you see her on the second date get her some flowers one of the best most romantic things I ever did the girl told me it was it was amazing and I'm gonna tell you this um, and I've only done it once with one girl who I really care about but I'll tell you it I, I never stopped hearing about how great she thought it was is rather than just going to Vaughn's and buying a bouquet of flowers for 10 bucks or roses um, you know on the second date or I, I actually knew where she, where she lived so I could do this but I walked around and I picked beautiful flowers from around her house or around her work okay and I, I just picked ones that are beautiful and that went together well and I made my own bouquet I made her a bouquet out of the flowers that grew around her house I cleaned them up, I tied them up, I stuck them in a vase, and, and I left them by her door. And, and you know what? That was great. Because you know what? Yeah, I didn't spend money, but she knew that I walked around and picked the flowers around her house, and it looked beautiful, and it was romantic, and I didn't even spend any money. And, and you know, of course, like, you don't want to, if you do that, make sure there's not like spiders or bugs on, on the stuff. You know, you, you really got to put some effort into it. You know, you don't want to be handing her a bouquet or leaving a bouquet outside her house. Here you go, princess, I got you these flowers. Oh, hold on, looks like there's a black widow on top here. Oopsie, it just fell into your house. <laughs> oh, whatever, you could just hire an exterminator, get those black widows and those thousands of black widow babies out of your house in a couple weeks. But uh, yeah, I got you these flowers. Uh, ooh, there's another bug. Hmm, is that a bed bug? Uh, so, you know, if you do that, just make sure you, you clean them off and check them, you know? Anyway, guys, stay tuned to my next video, and I hope you enjoy. And uh, feel free to comment or message me or email me if, if you want any uh, relationship advice. Uh, and I'm not Mr. Know-It-All, but you know, like I said, I'm a 30-year Santa Barbara local, and I do have some good good tips. Uh, and and I believe in in you know being really respectful to women, and and I've I've had the um, I've been lucky enough to meet some great great women, and and so you know I'm just here to give out some tips. All right, thanks. Have a good one. Bye.